So what's become of my pearl? I can tell you this, it's time to walk the plank. Here we are, episode six of my building the Black Pearl Golden version by ZHL. Still, we're all happy with the product. The instructions, there's a few, you know, probably translation complications, but I can work through it and I think you can too. The thing that would be good is if you're gonna build this model, you can see the complications that I run into and how I solve them. So nothing major. This is kind of to do with planking, at least the progress that I've made on planking, but it also is gonna have some follow-up on lighting, some ideas that I've had and finishing up the back of the ship. You can see she's coming along pretty well. And we'll see the challenge where they get under here because this is where the planks start to curve. And that can be tricky to say the least. Well, let's take a look and see how I got to this point. Here's a preview of how the lights are going to work. This is the entrance to the captain's quarters. So it's indirect lighting and you can see the, the flicker of the uh, lamps or lanterns, whatever. You'll not be able to see those. It's just through the door uh, windows. And then, you can see what will end up being the top three lanterns that'll go on the top of the ship. That wiring is all complete. Just testing the lamps to make sure my wiring worked out. And then the view of the captain's quarters. Now the light that you see reflecting up here won't show because this will be sealed. For the window panes, instead of using plastic, I use plexiglass and it's a non-reflective. So it, it kind of has a matte finish to it and it dulls down the sharpness of the lamps. I don't know if you can tell the difference. There's a definite difference, a softer look to the ones behind the glass. So I'm very happy with the flickering lights that I installed. And I'm also happy with the choice I made in not using a battery. I'm going to insert this little plug-in device and I can run off of AC. And what I ended up purchasing was a adapter through Amazon and this I don't think you'll be able to see, but instead of nine volts, it puts out three or three and a half volts. And I think that's just a better system to use with these LED lights. But again, I did put resistors on all of the LEDs. I did make an error in wiring and it was brought to my attention by a viewer. And I think what messed me up on the wiring is that I was thinking of a household current and when you're dealing with household wires black is the load wire or the hot wire and white or the light color is neutral well in DC power the black wire is supposed to be the negative and the red is supposed to be the positive I did it reverse so my black uh, wires are the positive and my red wires are the negative. So that's an error. You should correct it if uh, if you're doing the wiring. Black is the negative, red is the positive. I did it the opposite. You may recall I had mentioned that the instructions indicate that some modelers cut off the ribs that go above the the deck but it specifically said they recommend that you do not do that. So to this point, I had not done it. This would have been an easy time to do it. But now that I'm getting the point of planking, if I move up to page eight, where I'm well through starting some of the planking, it shows two photographs of them cutting all of those off. This is a photograph of the ship flying sideways and so that's the inside there's a cannon window 
and it clearly shows them cutting them off and all the photographs from then on show them removed. So I'm going to remove them also. I want to bring to your attention an issue that you can have. It's important that these side rails are tight up against there. You can see after I glued it, this worked its way up. I also had the same thing back a little further, so I have it in a clamp. So I'm going to push that down. And then you may have to do some filing because you want all this to be pretty smooth and even. This is sticking out a little bit here. so. I'll be busy on that before I can actually start doing any planking. It's important that this very first strip that you put on is on as straight as you can possibly get it. So I'm trying to take extra precautions. So you can see in the front that it looks pretty good to me. And I'll build up and down from this point. However, on this particular model, you'll see as I work towards the rear of the ship, this has an upward slant. This particular uh, first layer is forgiving and I'll be able to gently bend that up. Now actually I'm going to cut it here because it doesn't make it all the way to the back so I'm going to put a second strip to get all the way to the back of the ship. It's about an inch and a half to two inches short. I didn't mention much about the back. It was pretty uh, uneventful, so I just put them on. I'll st I stuffed sand, sand around the edges. And then the first plank I did get on, and I'm pretty pleased that as a start. And this little part of the front to fill in those gaps. I have another little half piece that'll go on that very top left. What I have learned from some of my earlier experiences is you don't want any dips, um, gaps you can you can deal with, that you want this to be as smooth as possible. So when you bring that black walnut on here, it looks nice and smooth. Still progressing on the first layer of planking, but at the same time, I'm kind of finishing up on the electrical wiring, pre-wiring, I should call it. So I've got uh, everything done. This is just kind of a little test, making sure that the lights are working. And what I've decided to do is I'm going to add a, a couple more. This one represents the one that's going to go on the statue, and I'll probably mount him either on the deck or possibly at one of the crow's nests holding that lantern that I mentioned before. And then I've decided I'm going to put two below deck where this is where some of the grates will be placed and I want the light to kind of flicker like if you look down the grate you can tell that there's somebody below deck with a lantern or two so there's the second one and you can see the circular pattern of the the glow of the top of the light so I'm kind of happy with that Here's one of the lanterns for the back of the ship, and I'm going to let the gold naturally age. I have a chemical that would speed that up, but I think I'm just going to let nature take its course and darken that over time. These LED lights at the top, they shoot out a beam upward, and it makes a, a circular pattern, which I showed earlier in the video, uh, where I'm lighting up below the deck. I didn't want that to possibly make this top glow because it is made out of plastic and it might glow and I don't think that would be realistic because it would be made out of solid, solid metal. So what I did is I took a piece of mirror and I just chipped it out and made it round. I've got something that will cut the glass and it didn't have to be perfectly shaped. You can't see it. But it's going to take that light beam and reflect it back downward 
So I thought that was a good idea. So we'll see if, if you can even notice it, but that's just another small thing that I did. Um, we'll see how that turns out. So that's it for episode six. Hopefully in episode seven, I will have the planking done on the, the inner level and start working on seeing if I can get it smooth enough to put that black walnut on the outside skin. If you're watching and have not subscribed to my channel, I would encourage you to do so. It helps me out and it'll also help you keep track of where I am on the build on this particular model, as well as some of the other ones that I've made in the past. I'm not an expert in shipbuilding. I'm learning as I go. And really that is an asset for you if you're also a beginner. You'll see the mistakes that I make, the struggles that I have, and how I try to overcome them. 